One of the great moments in a person's life is the moment when they realize their mistake and seek to find their way back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All human beings commit mistakes and the fortunate ones are those who realize those mistakes and then start working on their path back to righteousness. And tawbah is one of the most significant things in our lives where we feel the regret and remorse, we leave that mistake and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for that. A person who's had the ability to repent sincerely, to have sincere tawbah, is a very beloved person to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah azza wa jal loves that person and He welcomes them and He is so happy with this person's U-turn, this person's coming back, that the excitement is beyond words, as is mentioned in hadith. Umar radiallahu anhu advised us to stay with such people or spend some time in the company of such people. He said, Jalisu tawwabin fa'innahum araqu shay'in af'idatan These people have the softest hearts. Why? Because they have just come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they're living with this sense of letting go of the past and making amends and they are really trying to compensate for lost time, lost efforts and possibly lost resources that were spent in perhaps frivolous things or things that were unfruitful and now they're trying to make it back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they're working extra hard and because they're working extra hard their hearts are also softer and more attached to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if we see people around us who are trying to make a change in their lives and really trying to make it back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and find their way and do whatever is in their capacity to, to fix whatever it is that they may have done, then we should know that these are very special people and we should have appreciation for them in our hearts and we should try to benefit from them because a person who is perhaps on the right path or doing the right thing, they might not realize the importance of that deep connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that sense of overwhelming emotion, that outburst of the heart, that, that moment where a person raises their hands in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and cries and begs for forgiveness. We might be missing out on some of that, but that is important for everyone, even people who are consistently doing the right thing by staying with people who are in that process and in that phase of their lives where they are earnestly trying to get back on the right path, get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after feeling distanced from Him, we can benefit a great deal from those people. Our own hearts will soften and our own hearts will become more inclined to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes, we say that, you know, I would love to raise my hands in front of Allah and cry in dua, but it just doesn't happen. So one of the very beneficial things that can help us get there is by staying with people who are already doing it. And this is a beautiful advice from Umar radiallahu anhu.